everyone, and welcome to Storytime with Michelle. I'm so happy to see you. It's time for an exciting, entertaining story. So let's not wait or hesitate and get right to it. Today, I'm going to read Edwina, the Dinosaur Who Didn't Know She Was Extinct, written by Mo Willems. This should be a good one. Edwina, the dinosaur who didn't know she was extinct. Words and pictures by Mo Willems. Everyone in town knew Edwina. She was the dinosaur who played with the neighborhood kids. She was the dinosaur who did favors for anyone who asked. Edwina helped old ladies cross the street and she baked chocolate chip cookies for everyone. Mm -mm. Everybody loved Edwina, except Reginald Von Hoobie Doobie. And there he goes. Reginald knew just about everything about just about everything. He liked to give reports in class about all the things he knew. Today, he was going to talk about things that are extinct. Specifically, dinosaurs. There he is giving his presentation. Dinosaurs totally extinct. A report by Reginald Von Hooby Dooby. <laughs> but as soon as Reginald started, Beth McFeeder asked, What about Edwina? She's a dinosaur. Then Tommy Britcher said, yeah, Edwina can't be extinct. She bakes chocolate chip cookies for us. And then Ms. Mink added, maybe Edwina is baking chocolate chip cookies right now. Hmm, that got the kids excited. Before he knew it, everyone except Reginald was outside eating cookies. Mmm, those look good. No one listens to me with that dinosaur around, thought Reginald. Well, tomorrow I'll prove to the whole town that dinosaurs really are extinct. And poof, Edwina will disappear. The next morning, Reginald handed out flyers that made excellent arguments about how extinct dinosaurs are. There he is handing out his flyers. Oh. They also made excellent hats. Everyone turned the flyers into hats and paper airplanes. When flyers didn't work, Reginald tried protesting. There's his sign, this is not happening. When protesting didn't work, he tried everything he could think of. He hit a gong, he's playing a bunch of instruments, he's doing a show for the little pigeons. But no one listened. Finally, Reginald broke down and cried. Boo-hoo, he sobbed. Why won't anyone listen to me? I'll listen to you, said a voice from behind him. It was Edwina. Reginald took Edwina to his classroom. Inside, Edwina listened as Reginald told her the truth about dinosaurs. He was persuasive. He was expressive. He was loud. He was very convincing. Edwina was shocked. When he was done, Reginald felt fantastic. No one had ever listened to him so well for so long. 
everything Reginald had said made sense. There was no doubt about it in Edwina's mind. She knew she was extinct. She just didn't care. <laughs> Look, she flew through the wall and is running happily away. Uh-oh. And by then, neither did Reginald Von Hooby Dooby. Look, he ran after her happily. Oh. Edwina's making cookies for Reginald. The end. <laughs> Wasn't that a fantastic book? I really love Mo Willems stories, don't you? Which one is your favorite? Why don't you let me know down in the comments section below? I can't wait to hear from you. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. That way you can get a notification every time I upload a new story just for you. All right, until next time, be well, bye.